Do you know how insurance carriers price Medigap plans? Well, whether you already have a Medigap plan in place or you are researching your options, you may want to know how Medigap premiums are priced so you can have a good grasp about how future rate adjustments might affect you. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the three pricing techniques that insurance carriers use to adjust premiums. Hi, Joanne Quinn, insurance professional, co-founder of Remedigap.com and creator of my free Medicare e-course that has provided thousands of people step-by-step -step lessons on how Medicare works. Now, before we dive into this video and the topic, I just want to clear up some terminology. When you hear me speak about Medigap, I am also referring to Medicare Supplement Insurance. We just use those terms interchangeably, but they do mean the exact same thing. But for the most part, you will hear me throughout the video refer to Medicare Supplement Insurance as Medigap. So let's go ahead and dive into our topic. As I noted earlier, there are three pricing techniques that insurance companies use. There's attained age, issue age, and community rated. What I will do in this video is give you the definition for each one of those pricing techniques according to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. I will also provide pros and cons of each method and give you some real life examples so you know how the pricing techniques may affect you. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first pricing technique is attained age, which is by far the most popular way that insurance companies price plans. Now, according to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, the definition for attained age is as follows. Attained age rated premiums are based on your current age, which is the age you've attained. So your premium goes up as you get older. So the pros with an attained age plan are that your premium, first of all, will be very low when you are at age 65. And with many insurance companies, they will not raise your rate based on age until you reach age 67 or in some cases age 68. Now the con with an attained age plan is that not only do you get a rate increase based on age, but you will also receive one based on inflation which means that the insurance provider may give an increase just due to rising healthcare costs. Now, in your research, you may have come across some information about attained age plans, noting that this type of plan can get very expensive as you get older. And certainly this would seem to hold true if we're talking about age increases along with inflation increases, but we need to keep in mind that there are times, especially with plans, G and N, that insurance companies won't adjust rates based on inflation, but may leave it at a 0% um, adjustment for the year and at times give it a decrease. We have seen that happen and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about in our real life example. So we're taking a look right here at an example of an attained age Medigap policy. This is a plan G. and. What we see here is that we can look at projected age increases. This particular company is not giving out an age increase until age 68. We can also look at what their increase history has been. And we see that they've had some rate adjustments that have been actual increases along with some decreases. We can also take a look at another company here we see the same sort of thing. This is a plan G, attained age. We don't get an age increase until age 68. Inflation based adjustment has been 0% for two years. And then this current year, 2017, they had a decrease. Now this particular attained age plan is getting an age-based increase at age 67. We can look at their increase history. Again, this is based on inflation and they actually had all increases. So you can see how different it is from company to company. So this just gives you an idea of what to expect when you're looking at attained age plan. The second pricing method is called issue age, but it's also known as entry age. And the definition according to CMS is as follows. The premium is based on the age you are when you buy the Medigap plan. Premiums may go up because of inflation and other factors, but not because of your age. The obvious pro to an issue age plan is that you're not going to receive rate increases based on age. However, the con is that you're still going to receive increases 
based on inflation. The other con is that issue-age plans generally do start out at a higher premium compared to attained age plans. There are certain states that only offer issue age plans or at least the majority of them are issue age and those states are Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Arizona, Missouri, and New Hampshire. Again, you will find the majority of plans in these states are issue age, if not all of them. Now in other states you will see a combination of attained age, issue age, and community rated which we're going to get to but when you compare the issue age to the attained age you will see that the premium is a bit higher and I'm going to show you a real life example here's an example of two insurance companies side by side one offering issue age that's the one on top the other one's attained age on the bottom you can clearly see that the two policies or the two premiums that is are very different they're both plan G's and they're both for someone who is 65 and new to Medicare but as I had stated earlier in this video, oftentimes issue age plans can be a bit higher from the get-go compared to attained age. And that's certainly the case in this example. So here's another example of issue age. Although you won't receive increases based on age, you will receive them based on inflation. And sometimes those in increases can be quite large and they can make up for the difference of not receiving that age-based increase. The final pricing method is community rated and by definition community rated Medigap policies generally charge the same premium to everyone who has the Medigap policy regardless of age or gender. Now the pro to a community rated policy is that as you get older your premium is going to be exactly the same as anyone new entering Medicare at age 65. However, the con is for anyone new entering Medicare at age 65, your premium may be a bit higher compared to age attained because you have other policyholders in your group that are older than you. And of course, you still get inflation-based increases with a community-rated plan. But let's take a look at the state of Washington who only sells community rated plans and we'll see exactly how they work. The example I'm showing you right now is based off one insurance company offering plan G and I'm giving you rates based on age 65, 68, and 75 and you will see that regardless of age that the rate is exactly the same and if we switched over to a male at age 65, 68, and age 75 in this zip code for Plan G, the rate would still be exactly the same, $158.40. So this is the pure definition of community rated, where everyone gets the exact same rate, regardless of age or gender, in this area. So that was pretty clear cut about how community rated policies work. But where it can get a bit murky is when an insurance carrier offers a community rated plan, but also offers an enrollment discount based on age. Now when we hear the word discount, we get really excited and it can be a great thing, but it's just something that you need to take note of. A community rated plan that has an enrollment discount means that each year as you get older, you are losing a little bit of that discount. But let's take a quick look at exactly how that works. So I'm starting by showing you an example of what a premium might be without an enrollment discount, just a community rated straightforward premium $190 now at age 65 if you were to join this plan you would receive a 36% enrollment discount which would drop that $190 premium down to $121.60 and that's what you would start out with at age 65 now each year the discount percentage decreases by 3% so the enrollment discount doesn't stay with you for the lifetime of this plan. So for example, at age 66, you would lose another 3%, so you jump to 125, 25, and so on, as you can see at age 67 and age 68. And if you want to do the math, you can, can <laughs> sorry, if you want to keep doing the math, you can continue adding 3%. Um, until you reach age 77 and that's usually where it tops out and also remember you will receive inflation adjustments along with losing a little bit of your enrollment discount each year and other states where you will find community rated plans are Connecticut, Arkansas, Maine, Massachusetts, Minnesota, New York, Vermont, 
and of course Washington as we already noted. So what's the best pricing method? Well, there are definitely different opinions about which is the best way to price a Medigap plan and it's certainly something to be aware of, which leads me to my first bonus tip, which is don't put all your eggs in one basket, meaning my recommendation is don't rely solely on the pricing technique when you are choosing your Medigap plan. The reality is you are going to receive rate increases regardless of which rated plan you choose. You know, there's no guarantee that an attained age plan is going to be more expensive than an issue age or community rated plan 10 years down the road. We like to look at other factors when determining what might be the best Medigap plan or the one that's best suited for you. We look at the insurance companies financial stability, we like to look at, of course, at their increase history and future uh, age rate rated projections if it's applicable to that type of policy. So how do you get that information? Well, that leads me to bonus tip number two, which is not on your own. It's really hard to research that type of information on your own, even online or calling the insurance companies directly. You will spend a lot of time, a lot of legwork researching, and in the end, you probably won't have all the information you are looking for. Sometimes it's just best to bite the bullet and contact an insurance professional, someone who works independently, who is contracted with multiple insurance carriers because you know, we have access to tools and we have worked with these companies. We know their tendencies. We can give you their increased history, their financial stability. We know their future age projections, you know, those rate increases based on your age. So we have that information at our fingertips and we know the tendencies of these companies because we work with them all the time. So these are the things that you want to look for, of course, when you're um, making your decision about a Medigap plan. But again, it's very hard to do on your own. So reaching out to an imp independent broker is a great course of action. And here at Remedigap, we do it every day. And if you feel like we're a good fit for you, we're happy to guide you through the process. And if you like this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Carry your company. Just say companies. Ah, mm -mm, no. Pop up. Certainly. Excuse me. Is that? No. Not the cons. Okay.